The V23.30 update for Fortnite releases tomorrow, aka 4 in the morning, and I might actually be doing a 24-hour stream for this one over on my personal channel, but that's a topic for another time. And in today's YouTube video, I'll be telling you everything you should know going into the new update regarding leaks and everything else that have already come out, which, believe it or not, there's been a lot, right? We have some news about Dragon Ball X Fortnite happening tomorrow. We have some news on exactly what the new augments being added tomorrow are and much, much more. So let's start off by just clicking on the news feed and showing you guys this right here which is the adventure continues which if you couldn't guess already because you know it doesn't have the logo or anything on it this is a second part to the dragon ball x fortnite collaboration and honestly i find it crazy how it's already happening right because if we go to our actual locker here we just type dragon ball and we look at the cosmetics these came out in chapter 3 season 3 and it feels like we just got this collaboration right sure it was like a long time ago like six seven months ago at this point but at the same time it feels so soon from the past dragon ball collaboration for them to do another one. Now, one of the things to actually note regarding this whole entire collaboration is the fact that they kind of just promoted it through the newsfeed and on their Twitter account, not even 24 hours before the update's supposed to release, right? They're just like, hey, Avenger continues, I guess. Here you go. We're not going to hype it up beforehand or anything. We're just going to drop it on you the night of. And it's like, if you got V-Bucks, good job. You'll be able to buy some cosmetics. You don't got the V-Bucks? I'm sorry. You're going to have to go back to the end of the line. You're going to have to wait five years for your V-Bucks allowance to come in the mail for you to be able to purchase this. Now, the actual RR on this glider stands for the Red Ribbon Army. So we're assuming that there's probably going to be some Red, red Ribbon Army themed skins in the game. Maybe it's like the android cell you know one of those characters put into the game but we currently don't know right we actually have not had like a single leak for this collaboration it's one of those times when we don't know that there's supposed to be a collaboration with a franchise happening anytime soon and it ends up being leaked in this odd of a way where it's just like wait a minute no one has said anything about another Dragon Ball collaboration, right? And in a way, I think that makes it a lot more hyped up because we can't even really speculate over what everything could be except for this official image right here of the Red Ribbon Army. However, of course, this isn't the only thing to talk about in today's YouTube video. So let's go ahead and show you guys an image Epic Games accidentally put on their newsfeed a little earlier. And actually, it's kind of ironic. Look, they just took out the Dragon Ball image right when I clicked off the newsfeed. So that's funny. Anyways, if I press this button right here, you can see an image of some new augments. These augments augments are going to be enabled in tomorrow's update and they're going to be added to the files. Now because of my leaks in the past, I actually have a list of what each of these augments do, so let's start it off by going from the left to the right of the top row and then left and right of the bottom row. So starting from the top left, we have Harvester, which makes it so shield mushrooms, apples, and grenades will drop from bushes as you break them. We have Shadow Striker, which this one was one of those more vague ones I couldn't find out too much information on, where it had something to do with the Shadow Bomb effect. I assume maybe if you get like a headshot elimination or maybe Maybe if you just are super accurate with your shots, maybe you'll be able to proc the shadow bomb effect or spawn in a shadow bomb or something like that. But we do know it does use the shadow bomb and I mean it should be obvious from the icon itself. The third one is icy slide, which gives you an icy feed effect when sliding, basically allowing you to slide even further and gain even more momentum. So that could be a cool augment. Then on the bottom left, we have a rift jector seat. This one is probably going to be a very controversial one in the community and it might not even get enabled in competitive modes because when you're shooting shield breaks, you instantly get rifted to the sky, right? That's the entire augment. Basically, when you, if you have a shield and that shield gets broken, boop, you're in the sky, you can fly around, you can glide away if you want to, right? It's just, it's a weird augment to see them add to the game, but it's going to be interesting to see how this evolves and how it plays out in actual matches, because this has been the one a lot of people have been wary of since I leaked it back when augments first got added to the game. And then the final one over here on the bottom right is called Death Hands, and it allows pistols to auto-reload themselves. So this one definitely makes pistols a lot more useful and honestly I feel pistols this season have gotten a lot more powerful than they've ever been because you get some of those augments such as you know the increased magazine size all that type of stuff and pistols can shred through some people to be completely honest right like I I'm at a point now where sometimes I'll rock a pistol instead of an SMG just because the pistol is getting that good and that powerful and then you put auto reloading on it and it's just like you have like a pistol that you can just keep shooting non-stop and you get like the increased magazine and everything you're just going to town you're just absolutely annihilating the entire lobby with a pistol right and i think that's pretty cool to hear but it's nice to see that this is this is going to be one of the augments added to the game but all five of these augments are going to be added in tomorrow's update now regarding if any of them will get deactivated or disabled after the update that remains to be seen but for the rest of these let's go ahead and hop into a bot lobby and let's just talk about everything else you should be worried about when it comes to the new update 
Now, to be completely honest, a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about, you know, is going to be more in the speculative territory of, hey, this could happen. But for the first part of this, you know, I just want to talk about the facts, of course. So that is why the first thing I want to show you guys is, of course, the crew pack, right? As you guys already know, Sylvie, the February crew pack for 2023, is going to be added to the game files next update, aka tomorrow. And we will be able to claim it at item shop reset tomorrow. Not only this, but if you guys remember that stay afloat emote, a part of the whole entire Kid Leroy concert, that is going to be fixed in this update and that is going to be released for us to purchase in the item shop at shop reset as well after tomorrow's update now regarding why it might have been broken I've seen a lot of people speculate why they didn't sell this or anything and my personal theory which I think is correct right is because in the current state of the emotes you would be able to like traversally hover around and stuff right so you could be you know that whole entire animation where you're just like floating in the sky like oh you could be doing that and still moving forwards and stuff with your character occasionally you know standing on the ground and doing its little dance moves before we're going back to that and I think what they originally intended with the emote is that when you're standing still with the emote you will be floating in the sky however when you start to move around right when you start to do that traversal effect that is when you'll be doing a little bit of like a dance move on the ground I think that's what they originally intended with the emote and after giving it to content creators early and realizing how the emote was not like they originally intended it to be they wanted to make sure they fixed that next update you know before they released it in the item shop just so people could you know just hover around get ascended to the skies in the heavens while trying to play you know their normal match of fortnite or whatever right you know i think it was just something to do with how they originally envisioned for the emote to work that made them go ahead and modify this before it actually ended up fully releasing for us so just keep that in mind if it isn't like you know how it, people originally showed it off when cre creators got it early it's most likely just because epic games didn't intend for it to be one way or the other however it is going to return in the next update and it will be sold in the item shop so that's something to stay tuned for especially if you wanted to get the bundle that included the music pack both emotes and everything like that for a cheap discounted price or whatever else. Now, of course, we're also going to be seeing new cosmetics like we do with every single update, and we may even see, you know, the whole entire level up quest pack. However, Epic Games has done something out of the blue that we weren't expecting, and that is that they added V23.50 to their actual files, meaning that next update should not be one of the final ones, right? Because originally the final update for the season was supposed to be V23.40. It appears. Oh, God, I was not paying attention. <laughs> But it appears that next update and the update after that aren't going to be the final two updates because we have three total updates to look forward to. The one tomorrow, the one right after tomorrow's update, which is then like two weeks later, and then, you know, the one after that update. So, you know, they're working on even more updates for the season, and, you know, it's just exciting to see everything going down and getting prepared. Now, keep in mind that, of course, since it's a new chapter launch, you know, chapter four, season one, we most likely aren't going to be getting a live event. I mean, I haven't even seen any leaks that would signify us potentially getting one so don't get excited thinking you know, oh we're gonna have some massive event already or anything like that it appears that you know the season just kind of like the vibe season get you introduced to the new island and just kind of you know relax and enjoy everything that epic games is adding such as the augment system other than that though not really much right of course we're gonna get a new quest new weekly quest you know that type of stuff and if i check my quest menu here we might get part three of oathbound we know Epic Games is kind of weird with how they actually, you know, like, release the uh, narrative quest lines and stuff, you know, the voice acted ones. It will say in game, oh, hey, you're going to get more in blah, blah, blah days, and then it just never happens. It's just like, hey, you know, we actually have decided to delay it last minute to five years from now, you know, right when the season ends. Congratulations, now you can do your uh, narrative challenges or whatever. So it's like we might see narrative challenges, we might not. It really is just kind of up in the air. But for the main part of the video, you know, the main things we should be expecting is, of course, you know, all the stuff I mentioned. So the new augments, the Dragon Ball collaboration, all that glorious stuff. And then, you know, just kind of a vibe little update. Now, if you enjoyed today's YouTube video, consider subscribing to the content I create. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And yeah, there isn't really much else to say, right? I know this is, the ending of this video has been kind of weird, right? It's been kind of awkward. And if I go back to this video in like a month or something, I'll probably cringe at how I ended it. So, you know, my apologies for that. I'm even cringing right now. But I do think that, you know, it was just kind of like a, hey, I kind of expected to have more to talk about. This is kind of pretty much it, right? It's like we haven't really had any leaks regarding anything else except the augments, you know, Dragon Ball collaboration and all that stuff. So it's like, we kind of know what to expect for the most part, right? We obviously don't know what Dragon Ball skins to expect, for, but for like the most part, we understand and know, like, hey, here's the new augments. There's no speculating over that or anything. It just kind of is a thing. So with that said, I'm going to ride on this rock, and I'll see you champs and champions tomorrow with another YouTube video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and peace out.